Greetings indie warriors and welcome to I Dream of Indie. My name is Old Gamer Joe, bringing you some quick gameplay impressions of a fun little party game we spent about an hour with called Plunder Panic on the Steam PC platform. This one is in early access right now, and it's a 12-player arcade-style action game. Really a party game in a lot of ways. Reminded me of some of the good old days when I was playing this with ex-hardcore gamer. He mentioned Bomberman back in the day on his Saturn, where he would have wires all over the room with his multi-tap. Gives you that feeling without all the wires. Plunder Panic, as you might expect, being an early access game, is a little light on modes right now. You can play the game online or locally, and then you have a tutorial, but that's really about all there is for options. But how does this game actually play? Your goal in Plunder Panic is, well, how do I say this without it sounding funny? Secure the booty. <laughs> if you saw our weekly recap with Silent Signs and Wireless Riot, they've already made that joke, so I won't go too deep into that. But no, you have a treasure chest on your side, and you're trying to bring gold into that chest. You just run around the map, try to pick it up, bring it over to the chest, drop it in, and so on and so on. That's one way that you can win. Sounds easy enough, right? But not so fast. That other team is trying to stop you, and if you're a captain on that team, you'll also have a sword where you can slash away at your opponents and kill them, which will result in them having to re spawn and be out of the game for a little bit of time. Adding a little bit of strategy is the fact that you can go into your enemy's chest as well, steal their gold, and then put it in your chest. Depending on how you set up your match, you're also going to have items that drop from time to time. An example of this is dynamite, which you can pick up and then throw at your enemies. That can wipe out a lot of them at one time. Or you can get speedier shoes, that kind of thing. There's a decent amount of power-ups. Now I know I mentioned that the captains start with swords, but if you are not a captain, fear not, there is actually still a way to obtain a sword. You have to use some of the gold that you collect and then hand it over to Swabby, who's on your map somewhere, and he'll hand you a sword. You can also strike down on your enemies from up above, and you'll find that the regular party is not quite as powerful as the captain character who can sustain two hits, party members can only sustain one. Collecting the booty is not the only way that you can win in this game though, as there is a cannon where you can load cannonballs into it and then strike your enemy me ship. Three hits means that their ship is going to sink, and it happened to me quite a few times. If you're fast enough though, you can strike at the cannon and cut the rope before it strikes your ship. So that's something that you'll also have to keep an eye on, on top of everyone trying to steal your gold and grab their own gold and put it in the chest for victory. If that weren't enough, there is one more way to sink a ship. You can hop into your little dingy and then ride it over with a full load of TNT and blow up the ship that way. Easier said than done. You can play the game locally, but I was playing online to test that feature out. We set up a private room, no real issues connecting whatsoever, obviously not a lot of people playing at the time that I was playing, but still, that's a solid sign that the connections and everything seem to be working just fine. I'm quite fascinated at the fact that you can have 12 players in this game. That's obviously something that I couldn't really pull off. I suspect a lot of you probably won't be able to do that locally anyways, but it is in fact an option. Of course, you can set as many players as you want on a given team. You can even be at a disadvantage if you so wish, but having 12 local, wow, that would be pretty impressive. So if you can pull that off, be sure to let me know in the comments below. But you don't have to have 12 players at all. It can be any size of team you wish. Where I could see players really having some fun with this game though is messing around with all of the different modifiers. There's situations where you can turn captains into different captains on every death. There are wings where you can fly around the map if you so wish, and then you can decide which items are going to drop too, so there's lots of different combinations to make each match feel a little bit different from one another. This is totally that game that would have been a lot of fun back when I was in high school when my friends still always came over to my house and I had a lot of friends to play games with. A little tougher in my situation nowadays, but at least you do have that online mode and I think that audiences that are in that situation today will really get a kick out of this one. This could be a great dorm room style party game, a very simple concept, but well executed I would say say the controls were responsive, didn't really have any issues there myself. I found that the gameplay was addictive, I like the different ways that you can win. It's fun! I really enjoyed the visual presentation of this one, it has a nice 16-bit aesthetic, I love pirates, so thematically I was all about it. Everything animates nicely, the game didn't slow down or anything like that as more and more characters filled up the screen or there were explosions and a lot going on. It is pretty easy to lose track of your character, that happened to me on more than one occasion, so do be prepared for that, you'll have to have your eyes really keyed in on your character or that can get a little bit confusing. But no, the game is a lot of fun. I also 
was quite liking the soundtrack here. It has an old school PC vibe to it, very MIDI sounding. It again really went along well with that pirate theme. I just think they've done a really nice job here with the presentation, and it's a fun, simple party game, so worth hopping in on for early access right now. The game's only going to get better. I'm sure they're gonna add more and more to it over time, but if you wanna support this developer, there are great bones here that make a fun title, especially if you have some friends to play with. Don't really recommend this one if you're just gonna battle the AIs by yourself but we were having a really great time playing together. Thank you so much for watching the latest video from I Dream of Indie. We would now like to take a moment to pay tribute to our great indie warriors who support us through channel memberships. Mitchell Hall, Bunny, Kevalo, Bill Tcas, Christian Cruz, Strick9, Chris Jackson, Nathan Moore, Peach, Adriana Amato, CJR, PSC, C Coil, Skepticism, Jen Rose, Jesse, CPM, Julian Colbus, and JRS the Eighth. Thank you so much for all you do for independent developers, publishers, and for I Dream of Indie. Everybody else, please head down to the description box below. Let's defeat the gaming echo chamber and bring a voice back to the voiceless ones in gaming.